Hey guys, Little Streams here. Today with another matchup. We got Space Wolves versus Death Guard. And this time I'm not gonna go for any psychic cheese with Death Guard or whatever I tried before. But we go on pure Death Guard and also uh, no magic whatsoever. Today I'm just gonna try out how much difference does the, uh, the pure fact that your Death Guard, that your Toughness 5 with Fino Pain, Relentless, Fino Pain rerolling once, that is. Actually, what, what does it mean? Does it do anything or is it useless? Um, are you powerful enough to withstand a real assault army? That's the question I'm asking myself and also, since I haven't tested this yet last time, um, what can the plea colony do when it's maxed out? Because it's obvious that it's going to cost uh, uh, so much points that it has to do something for in order for you to uh, rely on them. In theory, they should be good. We'll see. So obviously what we have here is Death Guard Victorium. In our first core we got a Chaos Biker Lord with a mark of Nurgle on a bike, signature of Corruption, Black Mace, Veterans of the Long War. So he's my preferred source of killing small stuff and also putting out a lot of attacks by being incredibly hard to kill. With Fino Pain 4 plus in one and so on, he's gonna be pretty nasty. And then obviously we have a maxed out uh, plague colony. So it's seven colonists of plague marines. Uh, we have a flamer in each of these, just in case they somebody's trying to blob them up. And the uh, amount of attacks they pull out might not be enough. So we got the flamer in here to maximize their strength and it's just five points. I have to have to go very very light on points in this lists but I mean that's something you can't really take away it's always something that will make back its points at some point I think at least um, also very good against Dean Stealer and whatnot but that could uh, attack us and since the Black Marines have very low um, initiative they might not even get to strike in time so we can take away some of these attacks before it helps, so it helps with a survivability in the end. Um, the benefits we gain is uh, while somebody is in near any of these units, we gain the. Uh, I have no quick idea what the debuff is called, but it doesn't matter. Weapon skill and initiative minus one. So even if you were faster than them with initiative three, they were slow. Now you are one initiative lower, and most of the time also one weapon skill lower means they hit no threes. Um, now that is already a big deal because they are really good as support unit for other um, stuff that is slower and since your entire army is very slow they are will be very nice with that and um, the other thing they gain is fear. Everybody here causes fear which doesn't matter this game but it isn't nice to have nevertheless. Um, then the big deal, if you max the mouse you're completely out, like seven units, and seven units is a good 120 points per unit, uh, so a good chunk of points. The entire play colony is 2k points, uh, 1k points here, out of 1850, so more than half. Um, you gain uh, in your in your AOE around here. You also gain the minus one toughness to all enemy models. So basically, uh, this is a gigantic buff for everything else, but mainly for your own sake because um, bolt guns will be more effective, um, crack grenades will be no more effective, flamers will be more effective, and in addition to that your plague knives will be the most effective there because they get to reroll uh, hits. So against marine equivalents you have veterans long of the long war, you hit them on threes, you reroll because of veterans, and then you wound them on threes and then you reroll. And then while being very hard to remove and going probably at the same time and having uh, all sorts of uh, defenses against any wounds that might actually pass through. Um, the idea is good, but we'll see how much worth it is because it is very, very expensive and there is stuff that others could have that deals with them. Uh, don't forget these guys have blade grenades, so if you're charging them, um, you're gonna lose the attack and the they also have assault grenades at the same time. Well, most of the time they are 
too slow to actually profit from the assault part. <laughs> so, very basic unit, uh, but very powerful if used right. And they are not affected by my detachment, so they're not getting slowed. All right. Then we have the second core, because I went with double core today, full infantry. We have another Chaos Lord on the bike, this time with a uh, artifact weapon, the Plague Bringer, which is basically a um, demonic power sword, if you want to call it like that. He has uh, AP3 on it, so not AP2, unfortunately. However, it is um, poisoned for plus, which is really good, also in combination with Plague Marines and is, is a demon weapon, so we're gonna have a bunch of attacks with him. So he has four attacks base, five on the charge, plus uh, d6 attacks with poison. So he's even gonna touch uh, monsters, creatures, and all that stuff that usually is a, a kill sorcerer lord would not be able to damage as easily. Very solid um, artifact, I think. Not one of the best, but solid. Then we have a Chaos Warband. So Chaos Warband consisting of two groups of Chaos Space Marines with no upgrades other than Mark of Nurgle, like everything else. Uh, three Terminators. So Terminators with power axes, because I thought, well, since they are so high on the defense, we need something to balance that out, because otherwise they're going to be stuck in combat. So I gave them power axes, so they strike last. But uh, since they don't have any assault grenade, they might have been striking last anyway, and they're here to um, basically attack the bank line. Um, the next unit is bikers. Two melter guns on the bikers because we need to have some sort of anti-tank here. Uh, we also have a champion and a normal biker too. And they're gonna be the meat shield for my lord. Although I will swap the lords. So this lord will go with this unit and this lord will go with the spawns later. Next thing we have here is Havocs. We have five Havocs, four with auto guns, as you can see. Something uh, unique to the Chaos Codex, actually. And that sense that you can take them on foot. And um, nothing else on them. Auxiliary is one sp uh, sp spawn squad with Mark of Nurgle. And they're gonna be ablative wounds for this guy here. So we can smear our ob objective secure and our demon weapons all over the table and still be majority toughness 6 with the bikers and the lords together. And if needs to be, they can split up and attack different targets if they want to. Now, uh, this entire formation here has objective secure, which is really, really powerful considering how tough your units are. And in addition to that, you gain additional boon roll whenever you gain one, and uh, you can choose either or both. The idea is still the same, survive the enemy and that's it. Um, being Death Guard, everybody here is relentless, so Havocs can walk around with their auto cannons, Spring Marines can rapid fire and charge, everything can do that. Uh, they all have Phenol Pain, and they, thanks to the detachment, they reroll that Phenol Pain of one. So they are indeed pretty tough, and in addition to that, if you're shooting more than 18 inches away from them, they also gain stealth, which is also a big boon. It might not sound like much, but um, considering you're really tough, people will find out that tank anti-tank weaponry is really effective against high toughness. No matter if you are toughness 5 or not, the last cannon will saw you in half, and that's it. You will still gain phenol pain, but everything else is gone. Now, what you do against that? You sit in cover. And if you sit in cover with stealth, the long range, uh, the, most of the time, anti tank weapons have more than um, 18 inch range, you will get, get your 3 up cover in ruins, for example. So, very, very useful when you're trying to survive in the end. Also, get to reroll my water trade, which is a good thing because the uh, uh, Death Guard table is actually pretty good. It's not. Nothing to sneeze at, I'd say. Um, nothing too fancy, more about some buffs, but imagine making this uh, Lord one more wound or one more toughness. He's gonna get into unkillable status with objective secure, which is pretty nuts. So it's actually a pretty good one. All right, that's 1850 of Death Guard Nurgly goodness. Everything else here that has veterans of the long war Pays the price because they are initiative three, except uh, the Plague Marines, those are already initiative three. 
So basically the entire army here is a little bit slower than usual and uh, even the Chaos Bonds are initiative 3. <laughs> not because of the rule, but because they are basically not, not that fast. <laughs> Just speaking about that. All right. Um, what do we have as the Warlord trait here? I'm going to roll it quick. Where is it? Uh, there we go. All right, roll it. We got a 1. Add 1 to your Warlord's Funeral Pain roll. It's nice. So now he has 4 plus Funeral Pain. Easy as that. Um, what do we have against this? Against this we have one of my nasty -ass Space Wolf lists. No, not all Thunder Wolf. This time we're going the other direction. <laughs> we're going full spam. So basically what we have here is a Wolf Claw Strike Force. And uh, it consists of two uh, great packs, both of them uh, identical pretty much, except for some little uh, differences. And uh, this time I will try to remember my um, my command benefits, which they are. We have four of these units. We have the rule counter charge, not counter attack. They already have that, but counter charge. So at the end of your opponent's charge uh, phase. You can declare a charge with any unengaged unit from this detachment as long as each enemy unit that you attempt to charge is locked in combat with another unit from this detachment. And any units that do so uh, count as charging for all rule purposes. So that means even for range, Fusius charge and whatnot you would get, uh, you basically have a great counter punch. So the more units you have, the more effective this rule gets, obviously, because somebody is going to get charged and then everybody can pile in and uh, gain the full benefit of the tax. And in addition to that, this is actually really good in terms of mobility, because if you uh, move into the combat and then um, out of the combat with a consolidate, if you make it, uh, you basically gained a free, free movement outside of your movement. Or maybe not. Maybe you're stuck and you lose combat. It depends, highly depends on how good your melee close combat is. And that's, saying, I think, something we can all agree on. The Space Wars are one of the best uh, close combat um, space remains that the entire family has. So that's a really good rule if you can make use of it. Um, the second one is Howl of the Wolves. Um, if a wolf cross strike force includes two or more great packs, which we do, um, including a wolf, God, wolf lord or a wolf guard battle leader, then together they form a great company, and as long as the great company's wolf lord is still alive, all units in that model's great company have fear and fuse charge. Uh, fear will not come into play because everybody in the other army is fearless, which is also very good. Um, but a fuse charge might, and this I'm charging uh, plague marines, since plague marines will uh, be very annoying with that. However, I guess anything else, I basically gain Fuse Charge whenever I charge, and when I get charged, I get Counter Attack, and the other units charge and get Fuse Charge. So it's actually a really good uh, combination. And it says Wolf Lord, but you don't have to take a Wolf Lord in any of the uh, other great companies. You can take uh, whatever name character you like, and he replaces the Wolf Lord. So I just have to have a Wolf Lord equivalent and a Wolf Guard Battle Leader. That's it. Okay. So we obviously need a core and an auxiliary, and what we have here is we have the black mains twice, because the black mains is the, in my opinion, the coolest one there is. And this is something um, that other space marine chapters cannot really do, because yes, taking free transport is fine and everything, but these space wolves are uh, a little bit different in that they can take cheaper close combat squads. That's nothing usually would say about the other Space Marine chapters, which is why this is a very unique way uh, to play them. Um, just know that it is pretty um, nasty because the amount of drop pods is pretty ridiculous, but if you want to play it, it is still fun to play. So what I got here is we have Ragnar. Ragnar is my warlord and leading the first part of the great pack. The uh, the black mains means he gains uh, as long as he is on the battlefield. I have 
uh, hatred on everybody so as long as they are alive and that is the rule what's it called inspirational example right so all units of blood cause and so on reroll failed to hit rolls in close combat so it's even better than uh, than hatred because they reroll constantly um, however it's only for the young stuff for the youngsters <laughs> to say because it's uh, I only have blood claws here that it will ins be inspired so all the grey hunters will not care everything else uh, will though um, other than that we have the uh, warhouse so Ragnar also gave, gives them fused charge if he's around and the unit is around but as we already saw we're gonna get fused charge army wide anyway um, the next thing is the joy of battle all backmates that disembark from their drop pod have fearless and funeral pain 6 plus until the start of the next turn it's basically made to uh, make everybody disembark and um, not get uh, shot off to pieces in the next turn so they're getting out and they're happy that they are out there no good not going anywhere um, and the last one the most important one probably the clause of Russ um, every unit that has the option to take a drop pod as a dedicated transport can take it one at no cost and all of these drop pods arrive from deep star reserve in the first turn and drop pods do not count towards the number of models that arrive in the first turn so if you had more than these uh, you could also try to bring half of them in and th this combination is actually really really powerful this is um, basically all reserves wherever you want them they cannot possibly mishap unless you are um, putting them too far to the table edge which by the way is something that happens if you bring so many but uh, other than that it's ridiculous so good this will very simple but very good um, now there's some stuff in here so first of all um, the pots here are filled with blood claws this entire thing here is blood claws till down here so the idea here is well if we have uh, maxed units and we have we gain the maximum of drop pots and we also gain smaller squads so we can't get wiped as easily um, a blood claw is basically a space wolf with lower basic and weapon skill but instead have, he has rage and they can take close combat weapons and so on for free so basically a assault marine that is on foot if you give them a jump pack they're called swift claws and then they are assault marines basically but really cool if uh, you can make, make them work um, the only thing is they have to get into combat somehow and this is the formation where you need one turn to make them arrive then they have you no know, pain and then they get to do the big charging or even in your turn in the enemy's turn you might even charge them as well because they get charged so that's all units without any upgrades they are bare bones basic and I'm using the normal marines models to uh, use them um, then next one we have grey hunters Grey Hunter squads with 1, 2, 3, 4 flamers. The rest does not have any um, extras. All drop pots, all as they come, bare bones basic. Um, the entire thing here repeats itself 8 times because this is 2 detachments, remember that. And then we go to the next part. So we have 2 long fang units, also in drop pots, but these guys actually do have a uh, melter can on both, both of these and they actually are only here to give me a little bit of anti-tank at least because I do not barely have any in this army and then we have two squads of Wolfguard also minimized but these guys here really bring the punch because they have two close combat attacks usually then plus one for the uh, thing and then for charging so basically they are uh, better blood claws but also a little bit more expensive they are the veterans if you want to call them like that my uh, the guys that already were terminator armor sometimes okay and then last but not least we have some other units that do not belong to here i'll talk about them later so next we have a wolfgar battle leader uh, as you can see he has melter bombs but other than that he is pretty bare ones basic and let's not forget Ragnar also has melter bombs and a mastercrafted power sword which is not necessarily super good but it's fine so all of this is basically coming down first turn if I want to and 
is gonna go for the big charge next turn. This is a bitter strike, so to say. And then obviously we have to take um, a few scouts here. They also belong to this formation. I took them all with bolt guns and they can not take um, drop pods, so they will come in from outflanking and since they are uh, space rules, they have acute senses. Now there is a little catch here, because in our auxiliary we have Fenrisian Wolves, and Fenrisian Wolves form the Wolfkin Auxiliary. Um, you can make them into a big squad, which I do not do, but also they have Call of the Wolves, so if this uh, unit is within 12 of either the left or the right table edge, you can call forth nearby Space Wolves. So basically if you are outflanking, you can arrive at the table edge where they are and you don't have to roll which edge they arrive from. Which is pretty fun uh, as a rule. They also gain Monster Hunter and they gain Outflank. So basically um, you can make them Outflank first, then choose where they want to go and afterwards you can decide if you want your scouts there or not. Um, they are also very cheap obviously, a uh, little assault unit basically uh, they have two attacks each, weapon skill 4, strength 4, toughness 4, 1 wound, 6 plus save, so very squishy, but why not? I mean, they are, they're not bad, and they also have acute senses to uh, outflank more efficiently. They are, for all intents and purposes, basically space wolves. <laughs> also counter attack. And uh, that's uh, 1850 of drop, drop pod madness. I'm gonna play on this board here. And I'm actually going to play a mission. Thank the Lord, what? <laughs> now I'm going to play a mission because we, I want to try if the objective secure does matter, because uh, we do not have any objective secure in the Space Force Army, and that's something the Death Guard has as a selling point. So I want to try, does that really do anything, or does it not? Because I'm not sure if these guys can kill all of this. I don't think so. All right, so who's going to put down the first one? Death Guard will put down the first one. Now since they like uh, since they like their saves and everything, but these guys do not have any uh, additional fighting power or anything, and cover saves won't matter as much, so they'll just put it um, close to the edges so they don't have to walk that long. And very close together so the Plague Marines can help them out the most. Space Wolves actually do this very differently. They want some at the corner of the board because they have uh, drop pods and the drop pods obviously grant them a lot of mobility. So it's a good idea for them to put these um, a little bit more to the side than usual. So six inches away from the table edge, right there. Um, Death Guard will continue the plan, putting down objectives in the middle. So going 12 inches away from that, one over here. Because remember they have fast moving units in the spawn and the bikes, so they can deal with this kind of stuff too, no problem. And then the Space Wolves will attempt to put one more over there. Uh, how far away do we want it? I think we want it right in here, why not? Yeah, right here on the outer step of the building. So we got one, two, three, four and Death Guard will put one more into the middle over here and now the wolves have the honor to put something somewhere so it messes up the whole uh, thing here. I think they still will put one over here. What do they put one there? Hmm, I'm thinking about here. I think that's the better idea. Yep. So putting that down on the side here. And that is our objectives. 
Not gonna play with mysterious objectives as always, because there is no flyer in the game. If there's flyer, I will include them. If not, I will forget them. So I'll just go ahead and say I will forget them this game. Lock that down before it moves. All right, that's the mission. We're gonna play the first mission type, just for easy sake, and we got some rolling to do. So first of all, uh, the Waller trait, number three in the Nuggy Nuggle table. Oh, no, we already had the Nurgle table. What's up with uh, my Mr. Ragnar Black Mane? His water trait is Saga of the Warrior Born. Let's look it up. later. Huh, oh, can't find it. Uh, it's something with, with uh, rerolling, I think. Doesn't doesn't matter as much. Um, he has to accept challenges or something like that. It's okay. All right. Um, so Fino Pain plus one for the other Lord, obviously. Uh, night fighting is in effect. And we got some other roles. So, first of all, choosing the sides. Um, Space Wolves will choose the side. Uh, to be honest, they don't really care. They just care that the Death Guard has less guys camping on objectives, so they will choose this side here. Unless uh, we don't know what deployment yet. Okay, deployment is this way. Um, they will still take this side here. So, Space Wolves on that side. And who's gonna deploy first? Same row. Um, Space Wolves can choose to get the first turn, but I think they will choose to not get the first turn. I think they want to see where the Death Guard deploys rather than everything else. Um, it doesn't matter though because they're an assault army, so they might as well uh, take it just to deploy scouts better or something. I don't know. I have no idea why I would do that. I'm thinking about taking first turn, because they don't see anything from myself anyway. Okay, so first turn to the um, Space Wars. And basically they have nothing to deploy here. I just have to allocate some guys into the squads here. So Ragnar is going to join one of the Blood Claw squads, because the other squads are already strong as they are, they don't need help. And the Battle Leader is also going to join one of the Blood Claw squads. All right. Um, we're gonna outflank with the wolves. And we're gonna outflank with the scouts. Oh magic. And that is Space Wolves deployment. Because everything else is coming in first turn just like that. No reason to deploy them right now. So next one is the deployment of the Death Guard. Death Guard, however, has a lot to deploy. Um, I'm going to attach the Objective Secure Lord to the spawns and the non-Objective Secure Lord to the bikers, as usual. And then we'll see where we took them. Okay, so the auto cannons will obviously stay back here. Because what the, that's what they do. Long range firepower. And we're going to put them right in here. I got them Havocs don't want to stay up, right? I'll make them though. And then we're gonna drop them. One floor lower. Gonna take the champion. He's gonna stick to the objective. Right there. And then we can add some more Havocs on top. Just like that. Alright, so they have some good 48 range from here. 
can shoot at stuff that deep strikes. Seems good. Okay, next unit, um, we're gonna put the Lord down. Lord with the spawns. Um, obviously this looks like pre that's the area where the plague marines wanna be, and this is the area where the Chaos Spawn, uh, the Chaos Lord needs to be. So we're gonna put the Chaos Spawn into cover, because they do not have any armor saves whatsoever, so they don't like getting shot at too quickly. Put them all over here. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Why does it keep happening? I mean, I'm click clearly clicking on the spawn. I have no idea why it triggers the uh, tank. All right, let's not do that again, but let's just assume the, the spawn is on there, because there's no way the spawn should not be on there. Put them both here, and then the Chaos Lord is going to stay in the open a little bit more, because he can jink anyway. He might as well. I don't care about his combi bota. All right, um, next is, do we know, want to deep strike the Terminators or not? And where do we need the other squad? So obviously there is a objective back here. That's something that Terminators can do best, I think. I'd I'd send them over there, and then put the bikes on this flank to secure that objective because it's the first away, and then it can help out here on that flank. So dropping my bikes on this flank. Since they are so dis disgustingly uh, hard to kill, I'm just going to put them all together here, that's fine. And the rest of the Marines will do whatever they like. So um, Terminators in Deep Strike Reserve, um, two Marine squads. I'm thinking about putting them to support the Havocs so they don't get just cut off here. But then again, I mean there's barely any objectives there, so I don't care even if the Havocs might have to go. So we're gonna put these on that side so they might advance as fast as they can. And then these guys here will deploy on this far side. Okay. Death Guard, Plague Marine Army deploying next. And when I say army, I mean army. There's so many of them. Can't it even fit them somewhere so I can put them down? Okay, there we go. Deploying those obviously close to other units that need support. So these guys here, straight into the middle. And the next unit also in the middle. So we have double support there because there's so many objectives here that I need a bunch of troops to be standing on them, and the Plague Marines will probably go and fight, because they don't have, don't have objective secure. So that's why I kept the normal Marines here as well. We need to over commit a little bit for the objectives, because that's the only way we can win. That's just the, the building is a little bit iffy here, but that's fine. So they're right there. Then the next unit of Plague Marines is gonna support this flank, because we already need somebody over there. And they will stand right behind the Marines here. Some joy support. 
I wish they could outflank. That would be pretty nice. Why is their objective here? What the heck? All right. Um, I think I'll put one on this flank as well. Just to be safe. Mm -hmm. And I guess I could dedicate a unit to the Havocs. I mean, why not? I have so many of them. They might be able to deal with one or two troops of Space Wolves coming in. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to put the Havoc on top as well, so he has a better line of sight. I'm going to put the uh, Champion still below them, so he still uh, secures the objective, but he's going to stay a little bit further up. And then the Black Marines will uh, basically form a little ring around the around the area, so to deny the drop pods a good drop area. Like that. Alright, I still have two more units to spend. <laughs> uh, there's so many of them. I think I'm gonna put some here in the middle, very central, so they can decide where they wanna go. And I'll be not too sad if they don't make it through the terrain either. Which might very well happen, because they don't have move through cover. So we have have those sitting on here and waiting for their time. Champion and Flame are behind. Like that. And still one more unit. Come on guys. Where do I want those? Now in this kind type of mission, um, something is good to come in from reserves, because you could come in here, but since there's no objective here, there's no point in keeping them in reserves, so I have to actually deploy them. Um, doesn't make much sense to do else. Where can I put them? I think I want more one more squad here, right behind the bikes. So they are ready to defend behind them as well. But until then, they will will be safe here. Just like that. Okay. As we can see, we got some a massive Nurgle blob here. Now you might argue, wow, that's especially good for flamers, but let's be honest here, a flamer will not deal enough wounds. It's just uh, very, very unlikely to be a big deal, and it's a, be a better idea to have them here, and then uh, assault whatever is coming from the skies. Plus it looks very, very cool when you have this bleak jungle of units, and some nest infested, and some firing support. I like it. I think it looks really cool, really fluffy. Alright, um, I already said they were going to outflank, so we have no uh, nothing to do there. And next is the seizing of the initiative. So the Death Guard will try to seize, and they do not make it. So we have Space Wolves turn 1, and before they can start, we need their objectives. So objective 1 two and three. Three, four, and psychological warfare. This is impossible because there's literally nothing in the army that is not fearless and it will never ever become nothing nothing else because even the chaos spawn does not know what fear is. So we have objective three and objective four. Um, objective three and objective four. So we have to control the middle. That's what the high command says. This here is a lost point. I'll simply um, remove that right now, because I'll discard it at the end of the turn anyway. There's no point in keeping it. Okay, so now we need to drop some troops. Uh, first thing we need to do is drop the flamers. Um, so we're going to start with Grey Hunter Squad number one, and we're going to try to drop them as close to the Deathline Guard as possible. 
since they have barely anything. They have some meta bombs here and there, but nothing else. And the drop pods might slow their advance for a turn or two. Okay, let's drop it. Uh, it's get us four inches this way. Uh, no, technically it's not impossible. They can stay there. And the green Grey Hunters will come out. Okay, so since there's a big blob, I'm gonna hold my flamer right in there. And then everybody else is gonna stay packed together, because I found out um, just going out full force does not really do anything for them. Uh, if you deploy smaller, you have more uh, place for your own pods to come in. Usually place is a big problem, and I don't want to drop back here. That's not a good idea to do that right away. So these guys here will have their flamer secured, because you might block your own flamers if you do it differently. And then the next unit is going to try. I'm going to try to drop them in right there. Okay, it's get us into the marines, that's not uh, as bad. So it stays one inch away from the models. There we go. And the next Grey Hunter unit arrives. Alright, let's see it. A uh, good flamer spot is probably about here, so we can hit the max. Um, we could go here, but that's a little bit too far. I don't think that makes much sense. So we're gonna move six inches to here. Or almost six inches so I don't touch the terrain. And then the... Actually the Marines will hang a little bit back so the flamer has good options here. And next hunter squad is deployed. So you can see drop pods are very effective. And now imagine the doors would count to that. I have no idea who wrote that in the FAQ, but if you imagine this list with uh, doors counting as drop pods, that would be just ridiculous. Okay, um, this pod here, try the same on this side. One inch away from the bike. Boom. Okay, so let's see where it goes. Um, to this side. But as you can see, if it goes further up, it will immediately touch a unit in this quad, so it can't move any further and it will hold still. And we're gonna deploy one more unit. And that's the Flamer Squad as well. Alright. And this time we have to put the Flamer up front again, because there's a blob on the other side. Exactly there. And then we do a very, very small gap again. Like that. Okay, next punch. He's gonna try to uh, fill that gap right there. Uh, that one is actually not in line, it's the first one that failed. It goes over here. And the Grey Hunter unit is a little bit out of position, but it's just the wall that got damaged. It's not like they're um, not in range of anything to shoot at or something. It's all fine. Okay, deploy that flamer. 
six inches. Hello there. Exactly at the side. This is actually a really good spot for another drop pod because it can barely scatter. So this time I'll keep my units a little bit more spread. Like that. Alright. Next one. Um, do I keep dropping Grey Hunters here? I don't think so. I don't need Grey Hunters in uh, the direct vicinity. I think I need a Blood Claw there. And since there's, that's a side where a lot of the bikes are, this is actually really strong. It's really hard to deal with that with normal units. So I'm going to think about dropping the battle leader in there. Whoops. Let's see if he can get a good counter charge going. So we're going to drop the drop pod right in here. And it's very, very uh, easy to not mishap here, as you can see because the most we can scatter to this side is like an inch or something. No, it's exactly on the first Plague Marine already. Yeah, so we can't really scatter much. All right, so since we're here, we're going to deploy the blood class. Actually, before I do that, last time I played this, I rolled for the um, for the black mines. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nope, all uh, drop pods arrive, so you don't have to roll for anything. I think I just mishapped. That's what, what what happened. As you can see, it is very likely to mishap sometimes because of the mass amount you have to get on the on the um, field because you have to deep strike. Um, we're gonna put these, um, since a Death Guard unit can't get past here, we're gonna put them right next to them, because as soon as that happens they will get an easy peasy counter charge, because they can fit through there, and they're not limited like the Death Guard is. And that means we have a good counter charge here, with some blood claws and the battle leader against whatever is coming in and we fill the gap. Now if we drop one here, uh, there's no gap where we can deploy, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but I mean, who cares. Next we have uh, the same thing we should do here. So we can counter charge on that side, because this is a little bit too full. So let's drop another drop pod with uh, blood class first. Trying to drop Uh, if we're doing it perfectly here, that's the exact spot. Direct hit, perfect. Alright, so this is exactly one inch, so that nobody gets past that unless they're assault marines, but I know they aren't as well as marines, so they're not getting past. And Blood Claws arrive. Deploy them as close to the pot as we can. There we go. And it's time for another Grey Hunter unit, I think. So Grey Hunters here will drop on this far side. Um, this time we can go as close as we can again, because I do not have any flamers whatsoever. So right here, pot. Aye, that's a big scatter, although it is cocked, so it can reroll it, but it's still a big scatter if it scatters. Yep, that goes off the board. So what happens to the pot? It arrives next turn, it's just delayed. Okay, that's my first unit that does not arrive. Next, we're gonna drop in 
the exact same spot. Yep, perfect hit. And disembarking the wolves. Leaving a gap here for the blood hunt for the blood hunters, what? For the blood claws. There we go. But other than that, closing the lines so no Nurgle Marine may pass us. And a blood claw behind. Um, actually as close as possible again, like right there, if possible. Let's see. Yep, that is fine because we are scattering down until we touch. Uh, actually I completely blocked, blocked that, uh, that pathway. Uh, for that it can't even scatter. So this in this case it didn't really work out but it's fine. Sometimes you gotta be you gotta be a little bit patient. In that case we're just gonna make sure they can't get counter charged right away and we deploy some unit around. And next is going to be one more spot on that side. I'm going to try to bring in one more blood claw. And since it's very uh, risky this time, I'm going to put it. I'm not going to put the Grey Hunters there. Okay, six inches to the top. Um, actually, it can scatter full distance up to here. And next unit is gonna disembark. Deploying my units. This time blood claws will be first line. And doing the Space Wolf Brethren's job. Okay. As you can see, Operation Wall is currently <laughs> pretty good in effect. Uh, remember, we need some objective secure units soon, so we can take these objectives actually and not just wall them off. But if you look into my reserves, we are not done yet. And my good guys are coming in later. Um, I'm going to drop the long fangs next. I want that long fang drop pod right on target. Let's see it. Oh, that's a big scatter. Although it's not a bad direction. So it lands exactly between the objectives, okay. Um, take these lawn fangs out. And since there are some plague marines in range, might as well put the melter gun to use. And then we drop the next Grey Hunter squad. Actually, I'm not want to drop the other guys as well. So I'll try to grab these guys and put them onto here. Because uh, this objective I can take without flanking any time. This one, not so much. This is a little bit harder. Uh, three inches down, that's okay. And then our ancients will disembark. Eh, not in terrain, why should they? There's nothing shooting them. Um, Wolfguard goes last, always goes last. So we still have some Grey Hunter squads here to do. These guys here do not come in yet, but we have two more squads of Grey Hunters that can try to drop onto this 
like this thing here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to try to drop right there. Uh, that's get us, so it's going to be one inch away from the plague marines. Yeah, I, I think that, that fits already. Should be okay. Knock them down real quick because they're not going anywhere. Alright. And then we have a difficult terrain roll for the Grey Hunters. Moving six inches total. Which is fine with me. put them here climbing the metal rock that's yeah, a little bit too close They really don't have that much space, do they? Uh, I can climb here, though. Mm -hmm, seems good. And next blood, whoops, next blood claw squad needs to be right behind because there's an excellent charging gap hit below here. So we want to come in boat here if possible. Let's get us backwards four inches, but I'm totally fine with that because I hold this objective with the pot. Yep, that's good. And then I'm going to see if I can still make my plan work. Yeah, no problem. That's a good, um, good charge distance. They'll deploy right before they would hit terrain, right behind that pot. filling the gaps. Okay, um, so we still have uh, two objectives to secure here. Uh, yeah, this one is, is in range, but this pod definitely is not. So we have to uh, think about what I'm sending there. I think I'm just going to send a Blood Claw squad and I'm going to take the Warlord for this, because he should not get into close combat if possible, because he is um, He's granting me hatred on, on or rerolling in all runes, runs of combat on everyone, so better than hatred. So we should not try to kill him outright before the game even starts. So I'm gonna try to drop him in here. And let's see where we end up. Eh, that's bad. Because I do not want him or his pot so close nearby. But I guess it's another pot wall, right? Can't go wrong with more drop pots. And then these uh, black claws are just meat shields, nothing else. Uh, there is no second rank here, so, so I'll put them here and in case the death guard gets through my uh, first line, I still have this quad in to be safe. Where's my? There's a blood claw missing here. What the heck? Okay. 
I have no idea where it went. Hello? Mr. Bloodclaw, are you gone? Let's bring in a new one. And then Ragnar is sitting right here. You can't barely even see him, I mean. <laughs> okay. Um, so we still have three squads of blood claws and one squad of grey hunters. So let's see where we want the grey hunters. I mean, there's a little bit like, I think I need some more on the flank here because there's room for a drop pod over there and I wouldn't be too surprised if um, if they mishap. So I'm gonna drop in the squad last. Can I go over here? Let's measure that. Yeah, I can move over there, so that's fine. I'm gonna try to turn the pod around so we get maximum distance. All right, and let's see if I miss help or not. Hey, perfect. I mean, that's the I think the best best one I have landed yet. Don't have that much. Lock move drop pods usually. That's cool though. Alright, six inches right here behind them. <laughs> to be a little bit careful so we don't touch them or the terrain. Ah, it's a little bit too close still. This is millimeter or mini inches of work. Ah, it doesn't work. Let's let's just deploy him here. That's fine. I mean, he doesn't have to deploy that. It's just itty bitty stuff. Okay. So last one we want back there is uh, um, obviously a claw squad, and it should be right here. Uh, that part is going seven inches this way. So that's an actual mishap because I don't... Uh, it can't be deployed there now. It has to has to enter here in the gap. So this is the first one that I actually missed. But I mean the squad, the squad is dead out. It's just a pot that's not going anywhere. Just barking six inches right there. So as you can see I missed like 20 millimeters of space but other than that we are good. Yeah, can't go that far though. Bring them back a little bit. Actually I can. Huh. Alright. So now two blood claws, two uh, to extra. Um, there's some gap here that we could fill. We could drop some in the back lines just to distract them or we could uh, attack this objective. I think we're gonna attack this objective with all our uh, remaining guys because the wolf guard is actually pretty good against stuff like that. But obviously we're gonna struggle with the butt claws to make some safe space for the drop pods to arrive. So this pod is gonna try to land This is a wolf guard spot. It's, let's put it right there. I'm gonna go extra annoying and just wall them in with pots. Five inches. Bloop. Is it fine with you guys? Yes, it is fine with you guys. No problem. Lock it down. One is mobile. Okay, and we're gonna disembark the claw members. Uh, 
Where do I want them though? There's a bunch of marines here everywhere that would attack them. I'm thinking just, uh, let, let's just take the heat for now. That the plague marines can't just simply walk through and take our valuable squads out. Yeah, that seems good. On top of that pot, did I miss some? Ah, uh, whatever. So we still have five more claws to deploy. And another pot. Um, same idea would be here to block them off on this side. So I'm gonna go extra risky here and try to make this uh, more annoying than it is. Like that would be a perfect spot. All right, we're doing really good. Got all the, my wishes fulfilled to so far. And then I'm gonna deploy them back here because that's <laughs> nothing where the plague marines want to go. So we will try to annoy them. Six inches towards there. So make some room for the guys here. And there we go. Blood claws engaged. Deal with me or die. Or not. Okay. And then last thing we do is we take the juicy drop pod spot right there and try to bring in the wolf guard. The elite of the elite. Uh, four inches back. That's not too bad, I think. Actually, it makes a great drop pod gate here again. Uh, they can't pass. So actually better than I uh, planned it. And the wolf guard is gonna appear. Why is this guy so special? Melter bombs, oh cool. Melter bombs on him. Good, 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 good. So these guys will advance towards the... towards the building. And we have one more pot that comes in. Where do we want it? I would like one here, maybe. But then we can't disembark. There's not really that much room here. If I put it here, I might have some little itty bitty room. But I think I'd rather have it back here on the uh, actual objective. Okay, I'm gonna try to land on the edge. <laughs> Although that looks like impossible to me, I think that's a little bit too cheesy. Now nah, let's put it, let's put it down. Another drop pod gateway here. Um, that is a direct hit because I can't possibly scatter closer. I think. Yeah, maybe a tiny bit, but. <laughs> Not, not, not that is matters. Okay, so Wolfguard is uh, deploying. Gonna take the melter bomb and the dude to the side so they can't be seen as easily from top. And. I think that's it. So we have four units all flanking, another unit coming in, and this is how the table looks after deployment. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this list and Space Wolves, but I can tell you something. Unless you have a lot of anti-tank and vindicators and whatnot, you will not kill this blob 
there's no way you're getting through the drop pod wall. And this is how the Space Wolves can win objective games. Nothing here is objective secure, and nothing needs objective secure. We have pure meat wall over here. Look at that. That's a real front. That's like you have a screenshot from a white dwarf, except uh, the models are worse, but you know. Same idea. Look at that. They outnumber like <laughs> by 20,000 wolves, and uh, the amount of drop pod storm pod of fire is gonna be nuts. And then you will see that uh, the toughness 5 and the phenol pain will work anyway, I guess. I'm not gonna kill anyone. But I'll try to focus fire squads and uh, drill holes in this defense so I can keep counter charging all the time. Alright. That is my first turn. Movement. <laughs> so let's let's do it. Let's start the fight. Alright, I'm gonna start picking on these Chaos Marines um, last because they are simply not important. I don't care about them. I'd rather kill the uh, Plague Marines and so on. So let's go. We have one, two, three, four, five Grey Hunters back here, all into the Plague Marines. Um, four, six, eight, and one. Alright, let's rapid fire. Hitting on threes, wounding on fives, crack grenade, hitting on threes, nothing. Two wounds on the Plague Marines, three up armor saves. They're fine. Um, this unit here with the Flamer. Oh, oh. <laughs> Keeps getting worse. Where's my Flamer? There we go. Uh, this is the usual flamer problem with Intabletop Simulator, but I think we got a good spot here. We hit four guys in the uh, Chaos Marine squad. Two wounds. One death. If it's not Fino Pain. Re rolling once of Fino Pain. Yay, one the guy down. And also three Plague Marines. One wound, three up save, feel no pain, re rolling once. Hey, there we go, my 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 death detachment already did it. Alright. Got that flamer going. Um next next stuff, uh grenade. Hits wounds. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six from the bolt guns. Uh, three, no wounds. Um, drop pod? No. Alright, then the blood claws back here. Uh, crack and bolt pistols. Two hits, wounding on fives. Um, one, two, three drop pods all into the marines. I'm gonna do them all at the same time. Obviously, you can't do that, but really, who expect the who expects them to die? I mean, doesn't really do anything. Oh yeah, I need to remobilize my drop pods as well. Sorry, need to do that afterwards. All right, uh, two wounds on the plague marines and Fino pain, and one is down. Hey, we killed one finally. Um. So these squads are all done. This is all done. Uh, this Grey Hunter squad here in the Plague Marines. If you're wondering why the Plague Marines, simple answer. They give me minus one initiative and minus one weapon skill and minus one toughness. They need to die. That's exactly what they are made of. They need to die. So one uh, grenade, wounds, uh, makes a save. One wound, three up, makes it safe. Uh, we have one more drop pot, and the blood claws back here are in range. Okay, so one, uh, this pot over here is going to fire as well. So one, two pots, and we add the 
Grey Hunters <laughs> shots as well, and the Crack Grenade. Crack Grenade uh, doesn't wound, and the Storm Bolter full pistol combination wounds once, and that's a save. Alright, um. Do you want to invest anything else in there? Uh, I might as well shoot the other drop pods as well. Why not? I mean, it's not a big deal for them. So, one, two, three, uh, four, five. Eh, that guy's not in range. So, five of them into the plague marines. Who needs space means when you have drop pots for storm bolters? <laughs> okay. Decent hits, wounding on fives. Two wounds. Three up saves. They are fine. They don't care. Okay. Uh, so far we killed one marine and one plague marine. <laughs> <laughs> so much about that, but I mean it's a assault army. I really, I don't have any plasma guns. I don't have any um, points whatsoever in reality. Um, now, oh no, there's a flame mine here. So these gray hunters will go next, I guess. We have these blood claws here and the gray hunters still. Um, Battle leader doesn't have anything. No, he doesn't have anything. So these guys here will fire into the uh, black marines as well before I do that. So. Grenade hits and one bolt pistol hits, wounding on a uh, three and wounding on a five, three plus armor and feel no pain. Nope, nothing. Now back to the flamer. I really missed, uh, I should have done the flaming before so I can actually see what I hit. Whatever. Um, Gonna target them right there. Getting four Blake Marines, two normal Marines, and two bikers. So two bikers wounded on sixes. Nope. Four Blake Marines on fives. Yes. Three up armor. Five up Fino Pain. Hey, we killed a Blake Marine. Dun da da. And two normal marines. Ooh, feel no pain. Ah, one guy dies. I mean, not, why not? It's not bad. Okay, and then we have one grenade, misses, and six bolt gun, rapid fire, five hits, and two wounds, three plus saves. Feel no pain. And a plague marine dies. Wow, we all almost killed everything. Um, the plague gem is not gonna out look out, so I want the flamer. Okay. Um, that is everything down here, though. That's the entire section. Also, all the draw pods. And then next, we have these grey hunters into the plague marines right ahead. They have a different target. One hit with the grenade. One wound with the grenade. Um, one armor save failed. Fino pain made. And then two hits from the bolt guns. One uh, hit and one wound, one Fino pain, one death. Blam. Okay, so we're exactly up the hill now, so I'll switch to these guys real quick, so I remember what actually happens. Um, the Blood Claws will shoot into the Havocs, because why not? Havocs deal more damage than Plague Marines. So one grenade, uh, hits, and armor save is made. Actually, uh, wound, sorry. Armor save is made. <laughs> there you go. I knew it. Uh, one too much, this one doesn't count. And five to wound with the bolt pistol, and yeah, fine. Um, two more shots from this pot here, because he, he clearly didn't shoot in the other squad. One, no wounds. Um, 
Then we have the Wolfguard here. Um, I'm not sure what the Wolfguards actually have, but let's look it up real quick. Blackmans, Wolfguard, Bolt Pistol, Chainsword. Uh, no, nope, can't do it. Okay, so they only have their normal grenades and so on. So one crack grenade. Let's do that both at the same time, I guess. So two crack grenades into the Havocs. And wounding on threes with three up saves. Nice. And feel no pain. So one Havoc actually dies to the crack grenade. And then we have eight bolt pistol shots. Oh, very decent. Winning on fives. Yep. Oh, the wolf guard is doing work here. Oh, my goodness. Yep, look at that. Not bad. One more Havoc dies. Um, actually, the champion would have been closer there. Okay, so this guy and then this guy. That Now it's uh, rectified. Everything is fine. Okay. Um, then we have everything done back here. So we switch back to the middle. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's say five drop pods into the front uh, Black Rain squad. Actually, I'm going to fire them all into this squad. Why not? Yeah, they're all in range. So five pods into the uh, Black Marines back there. Hidden on threes. Oh yeah, I need to immobilize my drop pods. I'll do that right after, real quick. And why did I reroll that? Whoops. I'm confused. Let's let's remove them. <laughs> I'm halfway sleeping here. Um, three hits on the marines. Three wounds on the marines. I mean, uh, one armor save has failed. Five up, few no pain. Hey, we could have a black marine. Uh, blam. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four. These four drop pods all into the uh, black marines behind here. So we got eight shots from the pods. Nice going. And two wounds. One save has failed. If you no pain, no. Blam. All right, that is every single drop pod I could fire. Um, let's fire the Long Fang Militar Gun into the uh, Plague Marine. Hitting on a three. Winning on a two. With uh, five up cover from intervening. And Fino Pain. Nope, he doesn't care. Uh, a bolt gun from the other one. Wounds. No. Nothing. Okay. Um, then we have... Oh, there he is. I, I found the Lost Blood Club, finally. <laughs> I was looking for him all over the place. Now I just replaced him. Get wrecked. Okay. I'm thinking of putting the Flamer into the spawns, but there's a Chaos Lord up front, so he might just absorb the wounds. Because uh, they don't have an armor safe, but nah, he's just going to absorb it. It doesn't doesn't do anything to him. So instead, we're going to try to get four, five Plague Marines here. That seems good. Let's do it uh, right next to it. So we have two hits on the uh, squad number seven. One wound. And... One on squad number three. Wounds saved. And four heads on squad number one. Two wounds. 
one save failed, Phenopane made, and then one hit on the Chaos Biker Lord. No, nothing. All right, and then the rapid fire boat guns and the crack grenade. Crack hits, wounds on a three. Uh, three up safe, Fino Pain. Okay, one plague rain is down, and then the wounds, one wound, one armor save failed, and one down. Okay, so two plague rains die due to the um, bolt of fire. So one, two. Not bad, not bad. Um, then we have these guys here in the back. They will fire at the dudes here. Aragna, does he have a plasma pistol by any means? No, he does not. Fits Batman. So one grenade from him instead misses and four, five bolt pistols, one hit, no wound. Okay. Um, these guys here, everything here is going to rapid fire right in front of them and throw grenades and everything. So grenade, grey hunters, grenade the other guys, winning on a three, misses, armor save, yes, um, five, ten, uh, four from these guys and eight shots from the great hun grey hunters. Um, two hits here and few here, winning on fives, two wounds, Fino pain, nope, nothing. Um, where was I? I'm not here, I'm, th I'm pretty sure I'm here, right? Yeah, that was this stuff. Okay, this has all shot. Uh, Stormbolt does have all shot, so we are finally back here. And do we have more flamers? No. I thought I had more flamers than that, but that's fine. So we're gonna fire these five guys into the Black Marines back here again. So same deal. So let's throw um, three grenades. The Green Hunter grenade, the other grenade, other grenade. Hits, hits, hits. Wounding on threes. Three plus armor. And feel no pain. No. One plague rain down. Um, four, five, six, eight shots from them. And eight shots from them. Hitting on threes, hitting on fours. Uh, pretty bad shooting. Winning on fives, nothing. Okay. Um, I think we're actually done here, are we? Yeah. So these guys here will make a run move. Two inches. Oh, just to get into cover. I just didn't want to disembark into cover so I don't get stuck. Alright, and that's it. Nobody takes feel, uh, any moral checks or anything like that. So we're glad that we don't have to do that shit. But we're finally done. And we killed a bunch of Plague Marines. There's two missing here, there's a few missing here. There's almost all missing here. We ba basically uh, shot them a little bit and that's it. Okay, the assaults won't be declared because we can't, obviously, but we have some objectives to, to secure. That's objective three and objective four. And somewhere in this, there's four, there's three, so we have both of them scoring that, but do not score any first bloods here. Two points to the Space Wolves, turn one. Death Guard, turn one. Uh, demolitions is not possible. Secure objectives one, three, and hungry for glory. All right, so objective one is right there. That's not possible because the terminators are not coming in yet. And number what? Four, three, one and three. Um, three is there, that is not possible either yet because we have to go through the wall of marines here, but 
There is a gap here where I can pass through. And here too. This is not so much possible. Uh, this is also a passage. Actually, I can go through here right there. Wow. Okay, I can get there. Nice, nice, nice. So the Chaos Lord ha actually has some room here because I derped apparently. There should be a horde of boys here. Okay. Um, Hungry for Glory is obviously easy. I can declare like 200 challenges if they want to. The, the cool thing is um, Hungry for Glory actually does want that. So if we issue three or more challenges, we get D3. So that's D3 points plus one. And um, one objective we can't get, so we can discard that. All right, so let's start with the um, Nurgle spawns, walking th right through here. Because I failed to leave a gap. Uh, I failed to close the gap, actually. So they go through here, and then the Lord is also going through here. He's going to be the closest to these guys. And he's going to take his terrain test. whoop de doo Makes it. Um, yeah, then I have to actually decide some. What do I charge next? Do I even, can I even charge? If I charge, they're all going to charge me. So this is going to be a problem. Um, I mean, I can charge here. I'm going to move the Plagarine through cover. That's the first thing, I think. Two inches, okay. See, he's the only support unit I have around here because everything else is uh, too far away. Um, the Plague Colony rule is, um, is pretty good, but it's not that long range considering you... Uh, you gotta stay alive somehow. So let's see, where is it? Plane Colony has seven inches, yeah. So seven inches is not that long because can't get into this combat, so this guy cannot charge. We have to keep him alive. And we can't move him over there because um, obviously he can't make it. Um, what do I do with my Chaos Marines though? Uh, if I charge here, at least these guys are blocked, so they can't charge. Or can they? I mean, they can charge. If these guys charge, they might be able to charge as well. I'm going to try still. I want to see their special rules as well. I'm going to move through cover here, though, to get some more movement. Nice. So we're moving here. Try to deny them some ground. Uh, like that. And the bikers can stay exactly like they are because they're just going to charge the Grey Hunter squad um, for obvious reasons because we have to go through here and there's a battle leader that we want to kill. Um, these Plague Marines here will move up to the Grey Hunters as well. Trying to make it in there. Um, These marines here. Oh, they will just fight them, why not? So they shimmy around a little bit, going within range here. Flamer right across and done. Actually, we're going to do it a little bit different. These guys will move a little bit to this side, like that. So these guys can actually get it, uh, give them a hand in that combat as well. Okay, um, these guys here will go for the Juicy Flamer shot. Obviously the Flamer is not going to be the first guy to die though. Oh, can't go that far. Um, the Havocs will just make sure that they can see the Wolfguard, because Wolfguard are pretty uh, effective at killing stuff, so we got to kill them first. And I'll ignore the blood claws just like they wanted to. Um, these guys here will just deal with uh, the f stuff in front of them, move a little bit to the side. So difficult six inches, they don't care. Who 
gonna move over there, over there, flamer. I'm gonna flame them back, let's see who has the better survivability. Um, these guys here will obviously try to charge uh, those guys here, not, not these guys, the other guys. So we shimmy around a little bit here and let the plague rains through to their prey. Do I have my flamer still? Yes, I have. So this guy moving over there and then the plague champion back there. So they deal with this little fight. Um, I think my units are all in place. Uh, there's not that much <laughs> uh, movement like with the other guys. Okay, so let's uh, let's do the flaming first because you always should do the flamers first, right? So we're gonna pull out our flamer gun here and target that um, that squad behind them, the blood claws with this guy. Because the other guys are toast anyway, due to my charging. I can get all of them. So five hits on the blood claws. Whoops. One wound, one three up. Six up Fino Pain. Hey, Fino Pain did something. Nice. And in the meanwhile, we should hit this one Grey Hunter as well. So one four up to wound. And he's fine. Then these guys here will all fire into the Grey Hunters. So we have two shots from the Lord on twos. Twin linked. And then we have the four bikes getting eight shots. Twin linked. And wounding on fours. Actually. My bad, I'm, I'm failing already. Wounding on threes because the toughness is reduced. Reduced? Reduced. There we go. So, three up saves on the Grey Hunters, and that is one Flamer dead and a Grey Hunter dead. Good stuff. Um, next is uh, these four guys here into the Grey Hunter squad. So we have one grenade, misses, and three, six. Bolt guns, hitting on three and wounding on threes. And that's two grand just dead. Nice. Okay, so I think everything here is fired, so we're gonna go down here. Three auto cannon shots into the wolf guard. So six shots total with the auto cannons. I missed half though. Wounding on twos. Uh, two wounds. And that's two death uh, because it instant kills them. Oh yeah, I would have had uh, six up Fino Pain on the Wolf uh, on the Grey Hunters there. No. Or is it only the uh, the other guys? I don't think so. I think it's the entire Black Main pack gets uh, the benefit. The joy of battle, yep, yeah, all the guys that are in here do get the benefit. Okay, uh, Plague Marine here is obviously gonna, oh yeah, I should have fired the Flamer first, whoops. Let's get, uh, let's just give him two more. Let's keep it fair. So we have two, three on the, oh, let's take it that is, so we have three, three. Um, three on the Blood Claws and no wounds, uh, uh, all wounds, but you know, and three wounds on the other guys. Hey, the entire squad is toast. That hurts. Oh, uh, that's first blood for the death guard because they just wiped the first unit with a flamer. And no, actually. Wait a second. Damn it, they made one feel of pain. So whoop, there's the wolf guard back. They're not dying that quickly. Alright, get it. And then we're gonna rapid fire to the claws. Uh 
uh, one wound. No, nothing. Hey, Monster Lord, how are you doing? Alright. Um, oh, yeah, up here. Let's do some flaming templates here. Whoop. Uh, this is going to be a little bit complicated. <laughs> Just like everything else, uh, like that, I guess. Yeah, so we're gonna hit one, two, three, four here, and then five back here. So four hits on the Grey Hunters, by my primary, ov ov obviously, and one death, and then five on the Blood Claws. And two. Fino pain though. And fino pain on the claws. Yeah. So one guy down here. Blah. And then two down here. Come on, flamer. There we go. And a grenade that misses. And six bolt gun shots. Four hits. When you have threes and three up saves, uh, one death. Blam. Okay, so currently not bad with the shooting, I think. Pretty decent. Um, thanks to the flamers, by the way. Flamers are really good when you reduce toughness by one. Oh no, actually, oh, I think I derped here. Wait a second. I think it's only when I'm engaged in combat. Whoops. Ah, uh, Pliconi is not that good. Not that good. It's good, but not that good. <laughs> uh, innovating Pestilent Aura. Pop, 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 pop. At the start of the... Uh, okay. So it's at the start of the uh, fight subphase. Okay, so I have to keep doing that. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I didn't kill that much, but I have to keep doing as if it was normal. So it's only in close combat, but that makes sense. It would be a little bit too powerful if it wasn't. All right. So let's go back to the shooting, and this time people will die a little bit less. Sorry for the space wolf friends. Whoops. <laughs> uh, look at that juicy hit on the group back there. Come on, flamer, please. I have no idea why the flamer template sometimes resets and sometimes it doesn't, but. Um, we get four and five in the back squad. So four on the front wolves. Please to save. Three and three no pain. One's dead. And then on the blood claw squad. Uh, three wounds. Three no pain. Hey, double three no pain mate. Nice. Six up three no pain doing work. And the flamer is the closest. Yep, flamer is toast. And then the. Does this unit not have a flamer anymore? Whoops. What the hell? I'm a little bit confused. Is this guy the only one? No, he's not. Uh, wait, wait a second. This guy should be part of that squad. There we go. And these guys here lost their flamer? Ah, looks like they did. Okay, so back to the shooting. One crack grenade. Hits. Wounds. Armor save failed. Fino pain failed, so one dead. And six bolt guns, rapid fire. Um, four hits. Two wounds. And one fail with six up. Two die. To die. Uh, where was I? Over there. One, two. Um, these guys here will also fire into them. I think so. Yeah, why not? Why the heck not? So one grenade. No. And then bolt gun shots. One wound. One Fino Pain. No. So one last 
Grey Hunter remains. Um, and then this part here. Good thing I bought Flamers. Uh, right there I can max. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in the back rank. So 4. 3 wounds. And a fail. And a save. And the blood claws in the back. Two wounds. No fail. Alright. And then the, the crack grenade hits. Wounds. Failed. Fino pain. Dead. One Grey Hunter down. Rapid fire on the bolt guns. One wound. And he's fine. So one more Grey Hunter dies. And we are up to the next one. So we have one, two, three, four, five dudes here, rapidifying into the Grey Hunters. Uh, one grenade hits, wounds, fails, fino pain, dead. One Grey Hunter down, rapid with the rest. Four hits, winning on fours, please to save, and that is one toast total. Um, the Flag Marines have one last flame up. Gonna hit the guys behind them. Or do I target these guys? Just for maximum efficiency. Hmm. Uh, I can target them like that. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, and one, one. Okay, five on the small ones, three, and one fail, one funeral pain fail, one on the gray, one on the other guys, three up armor save, failed. Uh, Armor save failed, Fino Pain failed, Fino Pain failed. So blam and blam. Yeah, we still need to charge the blood claws though. I think they are uh, the most dangerous ones when they counter charge me. So these guys, five guys here, fight in the Grey Hunters, and I think that is finally it. And since nobody here uh, knows what fear is, we are all good. Did I miss something? No, I think we did everything we could. All right then. So we have some charges to clear, like a billion charges to declare. Um, I just have to look up real quick if how the space wolves interact with that. Let's go back to the detachment real quick. So command benefit says uh, at the end of opponent's charge subface. So at the very end. Everybody will counter charge. All right. So these guys here will charge the uh, Grey Hunters that remain. So we have D3 Overwatch. Uh, one wound, one fail, one Fino Pain reroll. No, it's one Marine down. And then we have a Crack Grenade and Two bolt gun hits, no wounds. Three inch charge. That's enough. Yeah, more like that, because we're only engaging this squad at the moment. Um, I can do the counter charges right now though, because uh, it doesn't matter if it's at the end or not here, because we already piled in. So charging, counter charging the these guys in here. Like that. Whoops. 
There should have been one more guy alive. That guy belongs to the other squad. Okay, now I get it. My goodness. So this guy would have charged him. He would have charged him. Here, we, how far? 10 inches, wow. Okay. So that actually prevents the other unit here from declaring a charge, I think. That's, uh... No, they can make it. Uh, they needed 10 as well. 10 or 11. 9? Nine? 9 is not enough, I think. It's exactly enough. Wow. So the blood claws make it in. Uh, but just barely, but they do it. But it's piling around here. Countercharged. And the Plague Marine is going to declare a charge against the Grey Hunters. Actually, he's not. No, he's not going to that stupid. He wants to survive and keep his debuff up. So the bikes will declare the charge and the Grey Hunters will all watch with six shots. Two hits, no wounds. And 10 inches, okay. Ten, 10 inches is pretty far. Let's go f first with this one. Can't in come into contact with this saw, like that. Like that. Not with the blood claw, please. Like that. And then everything else is piling in like that. And these guys here will counter charge and obviously make it because it's one inch away. And they can't really pile in much further because it's already <laughs> too close. And that's it for that. These guys here declare a charge against the Grey Hunters. Grey Hunters will overwatch. Misses. Two hits. Coming on fives. Distance, 8. Obviously they make it in, like that. And they also have to pile around here. Whoa. This is a little bit iffy. I'm going to keep him up here, but we know he should be there. And then these guys here can uh, counter charge. 10 inches is totally fine. Yeah, they should be up there, but they can't get a pair of wobbly model system. Uh, wobbly, mo mo wobbly model syndrome says we can up get up there if they can get up there and so on. All right, so that's one big cuddle group there. Then we're going to charge here into the blood claws. Blood claws gain overwatch and the grenade. No. Distance six inches. Raw. Um, Havoc's don't want to charge, I think, because a little bit too risky. They don't want to come down. Uh, the roof guard will not charge, I think, because it might still be the chance that they don't feed first blood, so he's going to stay right where he is. And this wolf guard um, guy here could, in theory, make it with a 12 inch, maybe. 10 inch is not enough, because he has to go through here. 7, and then ha, he makes it. I mean, if you go a straight line, if he can fit there, let's see. Can we fit him? No, it's it's too close. We can't get into the combat. All right, so they can't counter charge. They stay where they are. Uh, then on this here, we're going to charge that lone gray hunter with this squad here. So we can charge the other guy. Oh, yeah, wait, he has to overwatch. No. <laughs> And they make the charge. 
There's no space though to pie in, which is good because this other squad here is gonna um, declare a multi charge against the Grey Hunter and the Drop Pod, just so they can maximize the amount of attacks. Yeah, they make it easy peasy. And they are not getting by blocked by the pod either. Oh yeah, I still need to do my dangerous on the pods. My goodness, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> and then these guys here will uh, declare charge against the Grey Hunters. All watching. Missing. All watching again. One hit. One wound. One fail. One funeral pain. Distance. Three inches. Ah, uh, wait a second, can we counter charge here? Uh, should not copy paste him. Yeah, I think so. So the blood claws will counter charge, obviously, before that happens. Three inches. Yeah, they can make it just barely in. So Ragnar is actually engaged in combat, interesting. Yeah, but he has some pretty good combat abilities, so I guess that's not that bad. So these guys here will pile in. Uh, I have to stay a little bit away from the pot though. Over here. Over there. Over there. And last few charges over here. One, two, three, four, five, and the Grey Hunters will overwatch here. So overwatching from the Grey Hunters with grenade, bolt guns, fives to wound. Nope. And these guys into the blood claws. Nope. And nope. Distance, eight inches. And seven. I can't get into base contact with him. Like so. So so. Okay, I think we are finally done with all the stuff, and we can actually do our first turn assault. Hey, so let's see. Uh, let's start with this one right here. Plague Marines versus Blood Claws. Um, same initiative, so I'm going to do Plague Marines first. Three attacks. And one for the Plague Champion. Hitting on threes. Rerolling for Veterans of the Long War. Wounding on threes. Rerolling with poison. And that's all wounds. Three plus saves. And six up, Fino Pain. They're all dead. And that's first blood. One, two, three, four. However, they have two attacks each, plus counter charge. So that's four guys, 12 attacks. Uh, they are currently weapon skill 2, so they need force to hit. And they reroll everything because Ragnar is on the table. And they wound them on fives. So two wounds. With no pain? No. Consolidating. Six inches. Alright, uh, they're going to try to move around the pod a little bit at least, so they can make it to the objective after some time, because I don't think they want to crack grenade their way through there. And then these four guys here against the Grey Hunters. So I'm going to go first again, we have two tags. 
on the charge times five plus an additional attack. Um, we do not care about challenges because I don't think there's anything here I can challenge, is it? Let's have a look. Uh, black mains add grey hunters. No, grey hunters do not have a pack leader. Veterans of the Long War and wounding on threes. Uh, three plus armor saves. Easy peasy. Uh, we have one attack each on the grey hunters. And counter charge. Counter attack. Oh yeah, sorry, I need to counter charge here, obviously. Whoops. Uh, actually, I wouldn't have been able to make it here. Ah, da damn it, I forgot. I need to learn. What did I do here? Oh yeah. Um, no hatred, because they are not blood claws. And that is one wound. No. Denied. So that is a drawn combat and we just stay. Nothing else happens. Alright, so next plague line. So we have these guys here into the Great Hunters. We have four Great Hunters remaining. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. Feel no pain. No. I killed a plague marine. Wow. Where is my plague marine? There. And then we have my attacks with the marines. Got three. One, two, three, four, five. We rolling with veterans and because it's cocked. And wounding them on threes. And good thing we have poison because that was a very, very bad roll. Rerolling everything. Still a cocked die and still a cocked die. And three plus armor and six plus phenol pain. Two wolves die. Also did not counter charge here. I'm really sleepy. Okay, it's Batman. Um they fail combat but they are fearless. So nothing else. Um then we have this combat here with the Grey Hunter and the Blood Claws. And this one we obviously have to declare a challenge with the plague champion. Right there. He's then gonna declare a challenge to Ragnar. So we swap those two. And that guy with Ragnar. Alright. Um, let's see what he has. Ragnar Blackmain is initiative 5, so he's still initiative 4, so he still goes first. He has actually a really good profile because um, he has a um, whopping 3 base attacks, I think. Yep, 3 base attacks plus uh, 4 base attacks plus 1 for having assault grenades, boss pistol, and frost fang. So we have five there, six because he has um, charged, and seven because of rage, and his plus one strength, so his strength five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hitting on threes. Rerolling. And few discharge also. So he is strength six, winning them on threes. And 
Phenol Pain. Uh, one Phenol Pain. Wow, five Marines uh, die. Oh, that's really bad for them. That is a death. One, two, whoops. Three, four, five. Before they get to strike. Then on initiative uh, three, the Plague Marines pie in. Also, the Grey Hunter would pie in and the Black Dwarves would pie in. So, one attack. Uh, they're obviously going to try to attack the Ragnar instead of him. So, they have three attacks each. Hitting against the majority weapon skill, though. So, rerolling the veterans and wounding on threes with poison. He's gonna try to look out, sir. And then we have three ups. Uh oh. That hurts. Uh, six up. No. So the entire Black Claw squad is wiped. But he is okay. And the five Blood Claws get to take back. So two, one attack base. Two for close combat weapons, four for charging. Times five. Because that's what blood claws do. Um, hitting on fours, rerolling because of Ragnar being alive. And wounding on fours because they have fused charge. That's a cock one. And what a big difference. Uh, three ups. And. Oh, actually, can they attack? Because they. He attacked the other squad. Um, not sure about that one. Since he's part of the unit, and he attacked the other squad, but the, the combat is not over. They're still engaged. Nah, I think he. they will attack the. They would have attacked the, the Plague Marines um, on the same initiative step. I think so. I, I think this is legit. So, what do we have here? Um, wounds, 3 ups, and uh, 5 ups. No, 2 guys die. And we have one dude, and he's gonna pie in. He's pieing in, and then the uh, obviously, before they buy in the um, Grey Hunter gets his two attacks. And he doesn't have hatred. No. No, 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 no. Alright, so that is one Plague Marine remaining, and Ragnar basically mopped up that squad really badly. And he's gonna have another turn soon. Alright, so I need to shoot him down. He's a little bit too dangerous for my uh, taste. I think he rolls one armor save too per round, which is not good. Okay. Um, this one is already over. I think so. Why is the Flamer Marine alive though then? I'm not sure if I charged here already. I think so. Alright, so Flamer is obviously um, piling in then, whatever he did, and then we pile in. Hmm. I have no idea what happened here. Let's assume it is done. So we have this squad here. We have five blood claws against uh, four plague marines. Hitting them on threes and rerolling for veterans of the long war. Winning them on threes with phenol pain. Uh, phenol pain, what? <laughs> <laughs> with poison and three ups. Okay. And six ups. Hey, one survives. So, unless I already killed one. No, one Blood Claw actually survives. So, the Blood Claws are taking back. Uh, two attacks each plus. Uh, their counterattack. And 
and they miss horribly. But that's why we have Ragnar Black main on the field, rerolling everything. And wounding on fives. Three wounds, three up saves. Very good. Um, he lost combat, but he's fearless, so we're gonna pie in. Oh, damn it. I think I uh, did something really wrong in the other fight, too. Since I have defensive grenades, even if they charge me in my um, turn, I should have uh, reduced their effectiveness a lot with my defense grenade. Whoops. Because um, Plague Marines have it by default, you don't even have to buy it. Um, uh, defensive grenades. Models charging a unit that includes any models equipped with defensive grenades do not gain bonus attacks from charging. Um, however, if charged unit was already locked in combat from a previous turn or has gone to ground, these grenades have no effect. Okay, that's interesting because um, if a charged unit was already locked in combat from a previous turn, so as the wording is, I would still get to use them against the counter charging squad because I was not engaged in the squad in the turn before. Which sounds a little bit weird, but. Uh, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Um, the uh, units shouldn't have gotten uh, one their bonus attack, though. Do not gain bonus attack from charging. I don't know if it affects rage as well. I, I'd say it does because you don't get bonus attacks. Um, it's a little bit hard to say. Um, let's look it up real quick. Defensive grenades, rage. They would lose any bonus for charging. Okay, so they lose fuel, charge, and everything. So at least people argue that. I would argue it's not very really clear here because it just says um, you lose your bonus. However, there was something with the FAQ. I need to read up on that. But um, still, the the idea here is um, you do not gain bonus attacks from charging. Just includes, I think, rage too. Alright, so I played that wrong. I should have played it a bit, little bit differently. It doesn't matter though. Let's keep continuing fighting. Um, we have the Lord here with the bikers and the. Oh, I didn't charge even. Okay, let's charge real quick. One Melta gun, one uh, thing. There we go. Crash, 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 crash. The Lord is gonna declare a challenge. Um, the Longfang engine has to accept. Um, we have the Plague Bringer, so we have to roll for random attacks. Six attacks for the Plague Bringer. I think we just do the Lord, and that should be it. Because he is uh, currently at 10 attacks, hidden on threes, rerolling for veterans of the Long War, and wounding on threes, rerolling because the weapon is poisoned. Uh, oh yeah, don't have to even have to roll. Oh, actually I do. They had, had six plus phenol pain. Boom. There we go. Deleted and consolidating. Whoop. Four inches. Um, what did I want to do? I, I think I wanted to get that one. And then he's gonna attempt to be closest to the drop pods so the spawns can uh, can be safe. All right. So he wiped that out. Uh, this combat next. We have one, two, three, four marines against one, two, three grain hunters and three blood claws. It's at least easy to remember. So we have um, 
my one guy can attack the blood claws and the rest attacks the uh, grey hunters veterans of the long war and all of this is wounding on threes re-rolling with the plague knives okay so blood claw takes two wounds fails one armor save and one white claw is down and then the grey hunters whoa fail all the armor saves and they are all dead I assume yep they are dead so let's see that real quick uh, one two three uh, this would have tried to pie in but it's impossible for me to pie in here so they all all get their attacks as normal so we have um, six attacks from the Grey Hunters and two attacks each from the Blood Claws because they don't get rage because of my defensive grenades. Um, hitting on uh, fours, but not rerolling for the Marines. Doesn't even matter. God damn it! And we got two wounds here and one wood here. Uh, one failure on the Plague Marine. Fino Pain reroll. Nice, Fino Pain reroll saves one. And that means combat is over. I pile in <laughs> as much as I can. Basically, I fall down the wreckage. That's more that, that, what that means. And don't touch the drop pot. And then the puppies will just wait at the at the bottom of the wreckage. There we go. So we're still locked in combat because uh, we're both we fearless this turn. Okay, um, next one is the Grey Hunter and the uh, Blood Claw here. Since the Blood Claws are part of this fight, the Chaos Lord will issue a challenge to the Battle Leader. The Battle Leader will accept, obviously, because he has to, just like me. And then we get a Hammer of Wrath against him and two against the Grey Hunters. So Hammer of Wrath on the Ray Hunter. Yeah, wait a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me look up the Black Marine thing real quick. Um, enemy models within seven inches at the start of the sub file phase must reduce their initiative. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it's still at the subway phase, so it doesn't work for shooting, but it still works for an AOE for everybody. They don't have to be engaged in combat for this to work. So this guy will also give it to them. Okay. So now back to... I, I forgot what I wrote here, so let's just do it again. So in the challenge and the other guys, one uh, wound, and that's it. Okay. How many attacks do I get? Four additional attacks on the Lord. And uh, the Lord is as fast as the Wolfgang Battle Leader, I think, because he should be um, initiative 5 as well. He is initiative 5 as well, so he also gets his normal attacks as usual. Um, so we have 4 attacks from the Lord, 8 attacks total, hitting on uh, threes re-rolling and wounding on twos with fresh pain. Not re-rolling though because it's not poisoned. And we have three ups and fear no pain. Yep, two wounds of the wolf guy battle leader so the black mace activates and uh, the battle leader is slain. Chaos Banker Lord gets a roll. Let's have a look. Uh, oh yeah, I need two rolls actually. That's bad for me. I don't want rolls. <laughs> uh, expand. So let's see. So the guy with uh, Plague Bringer against Crusader. 
and he's not gonna take spawn hood because he can take uh, one of each uh, so he's just gonna take crusader instead of spawn hood and then the other guy that I just did <laughs> really? he gets spawn hood? okay feels bad man so he turns into spawn at least he killed somebody before and the black mace will still work okay spawn is engaged in combat here and then we drop down to initiative 3 so the two bikers, uh, the four bikers get to go next and the spawn will also engage the grey hunters I guess and the blood claws will also try to pile in as well so we have two guys on the, uh, th these guys all on the spawn and then these guys on the bikers and the bikers on them so let's dive with the bikers real quick um, four bikers because combat weapons charging uh, hitting on threes re-rolling with veterans and wounding on threes uh, one failed six up is fine and the spawn is also mutating by the way uh, it gains poison how many attacks two um, three for charging on fours wounding on threes we up saves and feel pain mate okay so no damage dealt to the um, normal dudes and then we have six attacks back from the grey hunters uh, three hits no wounds and the oh I forgot to do the battle leader didn't I okay let's do the battle it uh, doesn't matter what the battle leader did because uh, I still turned into spawn god damn it <laughs> and then we have five attacks from the claws Ten attacks from the claws because of close combat weapons, rewarding because of Ragnar, and wounding on sixes. And he's fine. So actually nothing happens except the Lord kills his opponent and then turns into spawn, and then we all pile in and cuddle here. Okay. That did not go as planned. However, the black maze activates because it's uh End of the sub, end of the sub phase, something, something. So we still take a toughness test on everybody here. So the two grey hunters take a toughness test or are removed. Uh, they're cool, and then five blood claws take a toughness test, and there goes three of them. Blip, blip, blip. Um. Next one is this big mob of a fight. Um, I'm gonna, gonna do with the marines first, I think. So we have four attacks, few attacks, hidden on threes, veterans reroll, and wounding on threes. And we got two fans and to death. So one, two, die. Uh, they would have piled in at the same initiative but everybody is already piled in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have to do them separately. So we have six attacks from the um, from the original guys with counter attack. Um, no wounds and then three guys with the fuse charge but nothing else uh, no and then we have one two three four five blood claws with ten attacks rerolling because of Ragnar and wounding on force wounds to saves. Alright, so they win combat but we feel this piling in 
and that's it. <laughs> Nothing else happens. Uh, and I guess that is Death Guard turn one. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> So it's turn two space wolves. Ah, oh, this is gonna take so goddamn long. Um, however, they they still score their two objectives. I mean, uh, they got secure objective three and hungry for glory. I'm gonna discard objective one. So they gain two points for hungry for glory, bring them to three points. First plus first blood. So four points in the first round, and to the space wolves two. Um, however, the Space Wars are not done yet. They have more, more units to come. <laughs> so we have two units here of uh, Wolves. Comes in one, and the Scouts, one, two. Okay, so where do they come in? Outflanking. flanking. Um, from the left side. Uh, left side being this side from here. I mean, I think I'm fine with that. Why not? So they come in here. We Go in there 12, into the ruin. And Take some cover from the ugly shots that will come in. And then the scout unit will, thanks to Call of the Wolves, come in from the same side as well. Moving on six inches. And here they are. All right, then the drop pod is going to attempt to come in. Uh, I'll put him here, so we can overrun them. And let's see it. Uh, it mishaps again. What happens? Uh, I get to place it. Um, where do I place it? Probably there. So they disembark into difficult terrain. Six inches, no problem. Uh, the problem is they probably will st still make it over there um, because of counter charge. As long as there is a gap where they can come in, they will be useful. All right. So at least I have that objective free for now. And this one is not as blobbed. But I think that's the only hope they have, because everything else is just going to die next turn. Because now I get to charge everything. That's not good. Because not everybody here has uh, defensive grenades. OK. Um, Movement. Blood cars will move. Or did they fight? No, they didn't fight. So they will move uh, to here. Because they don't want to charge the ugly grenades, but they would like to charge here. So they can finish off that squad with objective secure. Um, these guys will obviously also try to join into the fight here. Uh, these guys are already locked. The thing has to get shot. Locked. Locked. Where he would have piled in, obviously. And all locked in combat. I think everything is locked in combat that can, could actually move, uh, apart from these guys here. So these here will attempt to move up a level if they can. So let's see how far they go. 
3 inches is not enough, so they will simply walk closer to the building oh. and bounce. And then the wolf guard is gonna, gonna go this way. And then these guys will also attempt to move up a level if they can, or two levels, because so six inches. They fail though, so they can only move up one level um, and a little. So we're moving up a level. Oh, stay here. I think we lost him. God damn it. So let's take another wolf guard, put him right there, put him under, and then we measure from here two inches there. So he can see the, the guys here and charge them. That's the only thing I care about. Um, obviously we don't have multiples of these. And these guys, you can imagine they are uh, also behind him at the wall or one lower. So they will all try to charge in there. Um, wrist is already locked everywhere, so these guys can counter charge here or the charge there, depending if they make it or not. And that is it for movement. Oh yeah, by the way, what objectives do I have? I mean, we're playing objective games. But again, I'm on it. Um, security of 2 and 5. 5 is right there. I hold that with my pot. And objective 2 is there. Whoops. Um, <laughs> obviously, I would have put a unit there, and I would have put the unit of scouts over there instead. And since they don't even have to go into terrain, they'll just stay here and hold that objective. My bad. I should have done that before, but I mean, they could have, they could choose the exact side um, anyway. Yeah, there we go. They got it. And that's it for their objective stuff. So we can just go to the assault phase and be done with it. But I have to fire some, uh, some pods first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pods will fire into the havocs. Because I need to remove some of them. And that's some good hits. Three, two wounds. Uh, they don't care. And then we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 pots into the Lord. Hitting on 3s, wounding on 6s with 3 plus saves and 4 plus phenol pain. Rerolling once. Nice. And I think that's all I can shoot. I mean, I don't really have much that can that is not engaged. I mean, these guys here can shoot the Havocs, I guess. So we're gonna shoot the Havoc with a pistol shot and a grenade. So all hits, grenade, wounds, saved, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna charge the Havocs. Havocs will overwatch with uh, six auto cannon shots, hitting on sixes, two hits, wounding on twos, two wounds, and three up saves. And that's one wolf guard down. And the distance they need is three inches up and then three inches over, so eight inches. No, they don't make it, so they're stuck one level below. These guys are just on top because I was too lazy, so I'll put them down where they actually are, right here. So 
so I remember ne next time I'm looking at them and then these guys should be on their lowest level as well and don't do backflips please there we go um, these guys charging into that combat that's a at least seven inches they don't make it uh, Wolfgard is in in it to win it <laughs> these guys here can't make a charge anyway and that's locked in combat these guys here will charge six inches and I think that is it alright so let's start the fight down here um, Wolfgard and Bloodclaws so Wolfgard gets three attacks four attacks and that guy gets one attack. Hit in on uh, four, sorry, so only two and then one wound, one failed, female pain mate, and then the black marines have four guys remaining. We're gonna do two and two on both of these squads. So two attacks, four attacks on the wolf guard, and Actually, they re roll against the other guy because he came in first turn. Two. Oh, yeah, he's dead. No Fino Pain this turn. Blop. And then the Wolf Guard. Uh, re rolling because he came on this turn. And three's re rolling. Three ups. He's dead. Oh, that 6 plus Fino Pain really did a lot of work here, I must admit that. Really doing good. So 5 inch movement for the Plague Marines. And they'll go over here and kill some more of these Blood Claws. Because we have one more turn to shoot the Wolf Guard and also the Blood Claws. And then I can ch counter charge the Wolf Guard with the Raptors if I want to. Uh, the Raptors are Havocs. And they will see. Um, next I'm gonna do this one here. Plague Marine is still alive, so we have four guys active. And we also have one, two, three, four, five of these that don't get a reroll. Two hits. One wound. One save. Then we have five of the blood claws, so ten on fours, and rerolling every round of combat because he, the black main, is still alive. Ooh, not bad, and a bunch of wounds. Oh, that might might be the end of the marines here. Rerolling Fino pain the rolls of one. Up, oh, two guys could die. Uh, but we get to attack at the same time. Gonna focus on the uh, blood claws, I guess, because they came fresh in, so veterans. And that many wounds. Three die. Nice. One, two, three. Uh, I win combat. They are not fearless anymore. So we have Grey Hunters with leadership 8 and we got Blood Claws with leadership 7, I think. No, also leadership 8. Oh, oh, who knew? So trying to run away with the Grey Hunter. 8, yep, so he's running and he can't double back, so he gets automatically destroyed if he rolls low. Yep, he 
Well, it's too high, so it gets destroyed. Can't get around. And yeah, you can't fit through here. The uh, next Grey Hunter squad. They pass on a seven, and the Blood Claws pass on a six. So end of combat. So they pile in first because they it's theirs, and the Blood Claws can't make it with this three inch pile. So they consolidate instead. Six inches deep into territory. Okay, um, this combat over here, we have the Chaos Spawn and the Bikers versus the Grey Hunters. So Chaos Spawn mutates, gets uh, 2d6 attacks and pick the highest, so 5. It hits on 4s and wounds on not that. Then we have the 4 Bikers and the champ hitting on threes, wounding on threes well, three ups two deaths blop, blop. and the grey hunters what the hell, here's another blood claw there whoops, blood claw over here so we have two more uh, attacks from the grey hunters and that is, what, three? yeah, three uh, two hits, one wound, one save. The blood claws, four attacks, re-rolling, because Ragnar is alive, and sixes. No. So they lose combat by two or three? I don't know how many died. I think it's two. Yeah, they run. Six inches. Ah. Back here, and the blood claws run. I'll try to chase because I have to, and I get him because we have the same initiative. So stay locked up in, in close combat with the uh, with the claws, and the claws will try to pile in since it's their face. All right. Um, next one is this here. We have three blood claws versus for Black Marines, so three blood class. Ah, yeah, twice obviously. So again, three hits and a reroll. Nice, six hits. They're putting the work in here. Uh, two wounds, uh, one Pheno Pain. Oh, wait, no reroll. Hey, one Black Marine dies. Let's take this one. One, two, three, four, four marines. So we've got eight attacks and a flamer template that doesn't want to let go. Ooh, that was bad. Three hits only, winning on threes, re rolling with poison. What a horrible roll! Holy moly. Ah, that was nothing. So we are fearless with the plague marines, though, so we stay locked in combat, nothing else happens. Okay, uh, this combat here, Ragnar and the Marine. So Ragnar is going first. He's got his five attacks. Hitting on threes and re-rolling. Wounding on fours. Three wounds with Fino Pain. And he's dead. Well, consolidating Ragnar. Four inches. Uh, I think he wants to go this way though, because if he dies, uh, the game is pretty much over because I lose all my bony, and that Grey Hunter is gonna go full on charge mode. And I think that's my first blood and guts, isn't it? Because nothing else got completely destroyed in my turn. Okay, so, for, so at least I get one point for blood and guts there. And next combat. Uh, five blood claws and two grey hunters piling in, piling in, piling in, piling in. 
So I'm gonna do the Plague Marines first. Got two attacks hitting on threes. Oh wait, uh, they reroll because they counter charged now. Yep. And winning on threes. We've rerolled. Obviously, always on the blood claws because blood claws get more attacks in close combat. And that's four of them toast. One, two, three, four. So four, five, and two grandas get to attack back. Grandas. One. No. And five. Claws getting rewards from Ragnar, wounding on fives, nothing. So they lose combat by uh, how many giga kill? Three or something? Or four? Uh, they stay and the Grey Hunters do not stay. How far do they run away? Uh, three inches. This way and this way. And then the Plague Marines and the Blood Claw will pie in and keep blocked in combat. Okay. We have four dudes here, five dudes here actually. And a champ hitting on threes with two. Uh, Rewarding because of the veterans and wounding on threes with three ups but claw down and then we have one two three four four blood claws with four attacks each because these guys do not have the defensive grenades and even if um, they do not work anymore so that's all the Blood Claw attacks. Hitting on fours, a good thing they're rerolling. Ragnar, I didn't really do that much. And then they wound on fours. That was a good roll. Five guys, uh, doesn't matter, they all <laughs> make their armor saves and then the uh, Grey Hunters get to go next. Uh, three heads, no wounds. All right, so lose combat on these guys. They flee. How far? Six inches. Uh, not sure if they can escape here. I assume they can escape because there's a way over there. So they flee this way. And these three guys here Also fair, chasing, no, we stay locked in combat. So they pie in and I pie in and we stay. All right, and that's it for their turn. They did score objective blood and guts and objective two back there and objective five with a draw pot. So that's three objectives in turn two. And then it's Plague Marines turn to basically because they are the only guys doing work here. All right, three objectives. Impossible. 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 Come on. Uh, impossible. Actually, no. No, no, no. That's not true. Uh, there's a bunch of drop pods here, so that can score big game hunter. Not harness the warp though. Uh, I can't find it anymore, damn it. But there's a big game hunter here. So hold the line and secure objective 3. Um, hold the line is pretty much impossible because there is um, a bunch of drop pods and everything here. And big game hunter is just destroy a pod. 
Oh yeah, and now I have to go back to the pods here because it gets relevant now. So I have to roll for dangerous uh, because some of them dropped into dangerous. This one. Oh yeah, I also get a crack grenade against the pod. I forgot. So this one here has one whole point remaining because it's immobilized. The next one is cool. This one is also one whole point remaining because it actually matters now. Uh, this one is fine, and then this one here is also fine. And I had a crack grenade somewhere here, I think against this one, when I charged them. Uh, doesn't do anything. Okay, there we go. So now I know uh, that there is some weaker drop pods here. Which one actually? Which one did? Did I not reduce the hold points? They all seem to be very uh, healthy. Okay, I think it, I think it was this one here. That one took a whole point. Ah, that's weird. Oh yeah, this one took. Okay, there we go. So that's the objective. We have to get objective objective three and hold the line. Um, objective three is right there, so I can take it with the Lord again. <laughs> He's really doing work with objective wise. Um, so that's good. Uh, we have this single guy here that can charge and so on. Uh, these are all locked in combat. These are locked in combat. So I guess we turn around and flame these guys here. So they're gone. Uh, the Havocs will drop down a level and try to. Eliminate those weaklings that came in below because they have uh, relentless and everything. They get the charge on them. They get one attack anyway, but still, it's better than giving them the fewest charge bonus as well. And then these guys here will advance and kill those blood claws. So I have my lines clear, and then I can also take the objective if I clear these two troops away. Okay, um, this stuff is still in combat. Still in combat, still in combat. These three guys here. I guess they have to deal with the wolves at some point, so I'm gonna flame the wolves and then multi charge. And what's up with this? Uh, these guys are fleeing. This guy is in close combat, so we still stay. And uh, I have to roll for the Terminators too. Terminators will come in. Uh, where do I want them though? Do I want them on the objective instead? So I can take it with the Lord? Uh, I could be married to that, or do I want them back here to at least contest that objective? Because I can take it down with the power axe. Um, not really though. I think I rather would free the Lord because he has a really good weapon and everything. He should be uh, fighting stuff and not doing nothing. Can he charge the? Where's Where's Ragnar? There's Ragnar. I can charge Ragnar with the Lord. I think I'm, I want to do that. So the Terminators will try to drop in um, next to the objective. And they do. Hello. This is our objective. We have objective secure. Simple as that. And then the Lord and the the spawn posse can move up and try to kill that Ragnar. Because if he dies, I think this entire thing will crumble. Because it's very, very. It looks like the space wolves are winning, but in reality, they are not yet. I think they are not yet done here. Um, the I think that's it. So we have the shooting. Uh, we're gonna hit five guys here with the blood claws. Uh, 
uh, two wounds. And that's a death. And we have eight. Six shots from the normal stuff. Three hits and wounding on fours. And saves made. Two hits with the flamer on the squad up there. No wounds. Uh, combat, combat. Oh yeah, wolves here. Five hits on the wolves. And three wolfies down. Or, or, or. And then rapid firing the guns, two wounds, two saves. Okay. Um, rapid firing into Ragnar with the Lord. Just a hit, but twin linked. Winning him on force. Nothing. Ah, it's Batman. Combi Bolter all into Ragnar. Taka taka taka. Twin linked. Eh. Foster wound. He is really tanky in that I can't even hurt him somehow. Uh, but not really. These guys are all locked in combat. Locked in combat. He already shot. I think we're done here. So declaring charges. Um, grenade and bolt guns, uh, bolt pistols, the grenade, wounds, the gun, wounds, uh, three ups, no, distance, no problem. Raw. They're way bigger than they are somehow. Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe they mutated. And then these guys into the wolf guard. Only two wolf guard can see. So one pistol, one grenade, winning on threes. And distance six inches, they make it. Charging right in there. Trying to get rid of the wolf guard. Um, that dude over here is going to charge the blood claws. Grenade, pistol, distance, he's in. So he's locked in combat there. And the rest is fine as they are. Now these guys can make a 12 inch counter charge if they want to. No, they can't make it. And these guys can't counter charge because it's at the end, so they couldn't charge away something. Uh, this guy can make it a counter charge. Four inches fails. Uh, these guys here will charge in, so Ragnar will overwatch with the grenade. And the Lord fails. But a spawn takes it to the face. Okay. Ah, he fails on a one. No, the spawn just takes it to the face. Whoops, the spawn doesn't have for no pain. It's Batman. Okay. Would have gotten cover saves? No, wouldn't have gotten a cover save either. So it's just a wound on the spawn and that's it. And then they charge in as well. Yeah, no problem. Boom, 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 and boom. Uh, over here, we're gonna charge the wolves and uh, secondary charge into the claws. So we have one hit and two hits. Distance, eight inches, so six inches. Uh, yep, he barely makes it. And then we congo line to both squads because we can't make it into base contact with anybody else anyway. There we go. All right, um, did it. No counter charging here because everybody is already in close combat anyway. And I think that's everything. Finally, yeah, we good. Okay. So let's do the fighting. Um, these marines here versus the Grey Hunter. Yeah, it's five Grey Hunters. Wow. Five Grey Hunters. Um, so we have three attacks with the marines. And a wound. And a save. Grey Hunters attack back. One hit. Nothing. 
um, Plague Marine versus the Wolf class. He rerolls for being first round in combat and winning on threes. God damn it, these Plague Marines are really rolling bad now. Come on. There we go. Killed one Blood Claw. Blood Claw attacks him back with three attacks. Uh, Rerolling because of Ragnar. Oh, yeah, I should do Ragnar first, obviously. Uh, so don't get a reroll. No wounds, though. So they lose combat and he stays. So we stay locked in combat. Okay, let's do Ragnar next here. Uh, obviously, I have to declare a, cha a challenge and he accepts. We have one single Hammer of Wrath on him, wounds him, and he saves. And then we have to look up his uh, special rules really quick because I think he has something special. Um, he has incredible reflexes. So he can reroll a single failed saving throw each uh, soul phase. And he gets a 4 plus conversion field. Okay, so he is actually a pretty good matchup for my Chaos Lord. However, he's lower weapon scale. So let's see if that happens. That's a armor, I think. And for bonus attacks, okay. So spawns don't get anything special, but I have to generate the attacks too. Uh, one attack for each spawn, okay. So four attacks, eight attacks from the Lord, and the spawns have one each, so we have six from them. Um, but these guys are high initiative anyway, and high weapon scale. So Chaos Lord first. Veterans of the Long War. And uh, Threes to Wound. Rerolling. And Ragnar makes it. Uh, he stays alive with one wound remaining. However, he gets to attack back with his uh, five attacks. Ugh, he misses terribly. Uh, Reroll. Nah, not really. And no, no wounds whatsoever. He needs fives to wound because uh, his toughness is six and he only has uh, strength five. So he loses combat and then the spawns attack. And they do not have veterans of a long war. But they wound him and reroll because of poison. So three wounds. And he already used his saving throw reroll. But he stays alive. Okay, so he he stays alive, but he loses combat. Uh, I think he's fearless, though, is he? Uh, he's not fearless. What the heck? Okay. Guess we charge. Uh, we we chase him. Yeah, there we go. Stay locked in combat. So, piling in, piling in. Unfortunately, we did not kill him, but he's almost down, and the the biker lord is obviously cool with that. Um. Okay, now back to the real order here. So we have two wolves and the blood claws. Did everything at the same time. So two wolves gain four attacks. One hit. No. Then the black marine. Oops. Uh, three veterans. And it's the wound. And both wolves are dead because they only have six up saves, and then six attacks on the Blood Claw squad. Alright. And five wounds. Two dead. And then the Blood Claws get to attack back with uh, six attacks because of counter charge. Uh, Rerolling because the king is still alive, barely, but he is alive. And two wounds. All right. So the combat is lost. He fails. Do we catch him? Yeah, we catch him. It's the same initiative. So we catch him, so we stay locked in combat instead. 
So I pie in my three inches and that is it. Keep on fighting. Uh, then these five guys here. Nice. All hits. Ah, only two wounds though. Grey Hunter down. Three attacks back from the Grey Hunters. And no wounds. Losing combat. Uh, they stay. So we pie in another time and keep on hacking through that. It's so so slow though. God damn it. Okay. Uh, this is all. We have one Blood Claw, one Grey Hunter. Oh yeah, they could have counter charged, I guess. I think they counter charge. They would have made it with one inch. So we have one Blood Claw here. Two attacks. We're rolling. And fives. No. And then we have uh, four Grey Hunter attacks. Uh, three wounds. Wow. Ouch. Armor save failed. Feel no pain. No. Plague Marines just don't care. So we have one, two, three, four, eight attacks. Um, I'm gonna put two on him and six on them. Two hits, two wounds. Save. Six hits. Rerolling with poison. Six wounds. And they're dead. Okay. So basically, <laughs> the Grand does get killed, but the Black Claw survives again. So does he run? He does. And he does. So how far? 10 inches. Okay. He's out of here. He's going this way. Uh, we consolidate. Six inches towards freedom. <laughs> All right, so finally we made it near an objective. That's something, right? Okay. Um, so we go through here. We got that one covered, so we go down here. So we have uh, 12 attacks from both of these squads. So let's get these over here. 12 attacks from the Blood Claws. And finally, I mean, if this king was dead, they wouldn't do any damage whatsoever. So we have that amount of hits and two wounds, fed armor, feel no pain, one plague marine dies, and then we have the two attacks back, hitting on threes, with veterans of a long war reroll. Winning on threes, rerolling with poison, and three up armor saves. Ah, always one alive. Okay. Leadership, fine. Pie in. Uh, Havocs versus Wolfguard. Um, Havocs having six attacks. Hitting on threes, rerolling because the Wolfguard is nearby. And four. And a Wolfguard dies. Oops, not a Havoc. And they pie in. Whoop, whoop. So three Wolfguard uh, still in it. Four total. Two attacks base. Close common weapon, counter charge. Easy peasy. Uh, they don't get to reroll. Wounding on fives. Oh, the wolf gun is really doing well today with the wounding and everything. Must admit that. Uh, rerolling Fino Pens of one though. No. One Havoc dies. And that's a. just locked in combat, but I keep that objective with, uh, with my. Piling because there should be a wolf guard right there and right there. I just didn't move them up. They would have piled in. Okay. Um, done with that one. 
done with that one. These guys here again have this deja vu. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Rerolling. Okay. Two. And rerolling. <laughs> okay. And then the uh, plague marines attack. And wounding on threes. And finally the dead. Okay. That's so and consolidate four inches. Uh, what? No, only one d6, please. <laughs> Three inches. There we go. Um, where's the objective? If, there is, if the, where the heck are the objectives? There's one here, so we don't even have to go there. I think I can just clean house with the the rest of the squads here. So we're moving down here. Oh yeah, this drop is actually a free victory point if I can get it. Whoops. Um, yeah. Uh, this guy here. Oh, actually we did this combat already, didn't we? Yeah, I did. And then these guys here against the claws. Uh, Chaos spawn mutates. Uh, gets poison. And four, five bikers. Oh yeah, four text though. Did I counter charge? I did not. Okay. So we have that many hits, that many wounds. Yep, they're toast. Blup, blup. Attacking back with their four attacks. Uh, two hits, no wounds. Consolidating five inches. Ra. Into terrain. And whoops, uh, only one, please. <laughs> Four inches with the bikes. I think the bikes need to go on the other side of the map, though, so they have to try and get places. And this already was done. Okay, that's uh, end of Death Guard turn. Uh, that was yeah the big game hunter. Uh, discard this one and score this one for one point. Turn three. Um, I think the Space Wolves will lose this. Um, I'm a little bit under time constraints here, but I'm pretty sure that the Space Wolves will lose this one, because they have, they lose here, they still have objective secure. Uh, there's still Terminators here that will certainly hold that. We have bikes we can send. So I'll see what the objectives say and then uh, if, it's, if it's looking not like they can win, uh, I will just concede, because uh, their HQs will die in the next turn. That's another point. There's first blood. There's um, nine breaker is exactly evil, even, so they are two po points behind at the moment. And then there is the additional objectives. They can't score that one. Uh, secure objective four. They can't score this one, because we're already on the uh, brink of consolidating already, and I have objective secure. So they won't get any objectives, and they'll discard this one because it's the most obvious one. And then discard would uh, get two more. No prisoners uh, is easy peasy because I have so many squads to finish. And objective five is this one. That's a little bit harder. I don't know if we can do that. Well, let's say we don't because there's one drop pot on it, and I have to kill the drop pot. I uh, would have had these Pragmarines to kill it, but that's not probably... Uh, it wouldn't be enough, I don't think so. Um, but still, I would score that one and the No Prisoners with X points, and I could throw one crack grenade at that thing automatically. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, that broad port is down, so that would score me Big Game Hunter. So we get the two points and Warlord. One, two, one. So it's eight points to Space Wolf, five points, and they would have only the, the outflanking units remaining. I don't think they can do it, um, but I'm, it's not impossible, it's just very, very unlikely. And so, quick 
after game here because that's the way in it earlier so I can at least talk a little bit about it as you can see it's uh, only a fight of manpower here however the plague marines and everything outclass the troops so much uh, that they win very easily against stuff like that I think they would be even more brutal against stuff like uh, hormagons and so on because they would uh, cause even more damage and would if you put everything on sixes you fail um, once again the freaking spawn hood screwed me over because if I had two chaos lots the game was over um, I really agree on my decision here to um, or I will stay by my, my decision to take uh, big combat artifacts on them because as you can see I barely deal any damage and I might get stuck on stuff that I don't want to however the uh, I can't do anything about the spawn hood thing. I should have sent in the champion just so I don't win the challenge, which sounds ironically, but it's just the way it is. Um, yeah, the I mean the space wolf stuff looks really strong, as you could see. If you wall them in with those pots, uh, it's nasty. But the space wolf just can couldn't do enough damage because they barely got their fuse charge and rage working because um, of the blobbiness there. And uh, Nurgle toughness really, really hurts. Um, I mean, I managed to kill like uh, five or six Plague Marines the one turn, but then I couldn't shoot anymore with my uh, normal stuff, and everything else they shrug just off, no problem. And the defensive grenades uh, negate all uh, action against that. The only thing you can do is you uh, let let them charge you, but then they gain attack, and you gain one attack, and their attack weighs heavier than your attack. And I can say uh, without the Plague Colony I think this would have gone very differently because the minus one toughness is a big big deal. Um, Veterans of Longbow is two and it's for free now but um, the minus one toughness is what made it work basically. Um, Terminus didn't do anything because the game I should have played full game turns here obviously but considering the space was only have a few drop pods on objectives that uh, I can destroy. Uh, I think it's fair to say that I would have been able to do that because I have melter guns on my bikes and all everything. So I had some uh, anti tank. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth taking power weapons on my champions. Um, I might consider that because just of the, the freaking how long the fights go. The problem is though, uh, Plague Marines only have one base attack. So if I take a power weapon, I only gain one or two on the charge, and I lose three on my plague knives. So I have to take a, not a lightning claw, not a power fist, but st something uh, like a power sword instead. It's probably the most effective. Or even a power axe would be best, I think, because I can wait until initiative step one, and then I hit him with increased strength, so I'm wounding on twos anyway, re-rolling when I use the knife. So I have a good mixture. Although I can't shoot that. Eh. I think it's decent. Um, it was really funny to see the, the 5 plus invo and re-rolling once in action, because there was a lot of re-rolling once. Um, the end it didn't save that many, but maybe 6 or something. So the task was saved by um, that ability is pretty good, I'd say. Uh, Havocs didn't do anything as expected, because it didn't have any expensive weapons and I don't know. Um, uh, the Rainless is not such a big deal as people might sometimes think because, uh, because uh, Havoc range is uh, making them sit somewhere and wait. I mean I could drop down and then shoot them and charge them but hmm, I don't know. Relentless make a big deal for everything else though because I rapid fire the bolt guns and then charge. That may be a big difference. Not necessarily for the Raptors but for everything else. Uh, my normal troops and um, considering we have so many plague marines it makes a big difference there um, as well so I don't know if it's so much of a difference for everything else because Havocs and Chaos Marines and Plague Marines are the only guys that do use the bolt guns in rapid fire mode the uh, other stuff, the, the Raptors and the uh, Possessed and whatnot and bikes are already relentless um, I don't know, the rest doesn't really do that much with uh, really endless, but these units are uh, some. I think uh, Plague Marines got the biggest buff, uh, especially in their formation. I mean, even the initiative minus one and the Wimscale minus one seven inch aura without 
having to engage in combat is already really good for other Death Guard units. <laughs> and obviously the Lords are a powerhouse as well. Okay, that's it from my side now. It's gonna be, a, it was a long game, but it's always a long game when you play uh, infantry blobs, uh, marine equivalents against each other without power weapons. And as you can see, there's a lot of drop pods left. Uh, but imagine these are all for free, so basically I only paid for the troops. I think the best idea here would be to uh, remove some some uh, pods for at least a few melter guns, but to be honest, I wasn't missing the melter guns. The main issue was that the enemy so, uh, was really decently strong in close combat, and with, together with veterans, they actually made some. Uh, they are better than the uh, Grey Hunters in close combat, obviously. Um, even though um, I think Ragnar, by the way, made, made a great job, like the rerolls on the map were magnific magnificent. He's the only guy that wiped out a, a, a plague marine unit <laughs> in the entire game with his amount of attacks. Um, yeah, I mean he, he would have died in the end there to a rear duelist, but um, still, might have been taken, might have been able to take him out or turn into a spawn. Who knows? <laughs> Let's try it real quick. I wanna, I wanna see. No, I would have gotten Crusader again. Do I reroll that then, or is it redundant? Let's assume I don't reroll it. I get stubborn. Okay, I wouldn't have turned in a spawn with the Lord at least, but still. Um, yeah, in the end, I really enjoyed this. It's a big mean grinder, I mean, but look at that. It looks so cool uh, with all this stuff around. Prague Marines going through the ruins here and bikers and everything. And the loyalists didn't win. That's always nice because I think space means are strong enough as they are. I don't think they need much more. So it's nice to see some Chaos Marines making a comeback with the new detachment. All right, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe and like if you did. And see you guys next time. Happy wargaming.